Hey, welcome to the Wicked Game Rank Collector. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video, we are going to talk about the Wish tablet once again, but now we are going to take a close look at it an emulation perspective, just to see how good is it if you want to have an all-round tablet just from browsing the internet, watching a YouTube video, and playing some old school retro games. What can you do and how far can you push it? That is what we're going to do in this video. Just going to test some games to see how they are running and is this thing worth your money if you just want to play some old school retro emulation but you want to do it the budget way because these fake and sometimes you bought basic cheap tablets are very cheap. Go around 80 bucks. The question is what can we do with it and what can we play of course. So that we're going to find out. Consider subscribing, hit the little bell and come on the week family. There are different ways to play and there are quite some different apps. Some are free, some you need to buy. Nevertheless, we're going to try out some games on some different emulators. And I'm using my Datafrog old school PlayStation 2 ripoff controller. This thing is kind of retro because we're going to use this dongle that goes through an adapter in the micro USB connection. So we're going to start small, but yeah, NES, 8-bit. It's very easy to play on a tablet like this.
Sadly, we have reached the limitation when it comes to retro emulation on this device because PlayStation 1, you will see in the upcoming videos part that it will run really choppy. Even with this game, you can see it dips to under the 50 FPS and is my opinion not a really fun way to play. When you take a close look at this tablet now with testing on the retro emulation you can see it only supports up to PlayStation 1 and even the PlayStation 1 part is not perfect it's more like a hit and miss. If you're looking at for example error type it runs decent enough to play but Tekken 3 is just basically unplayable and the two dimensional games are having better performance but I have seen this before with other handhelds or the tablets that are less powerful and that have struggled with PlayStation 1. But this is what you're going to get. Yeah, thanks for watching. Consider subscribing, hit the little bell, become one of the Wicked family. Stay strong, stay positive, and we'll see you in the next video.